Archer, where is Hunbold? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him I don't right trust north, her. following the paved Roman road. To the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. You broke an oath to your word. You. What devil put you up to all this deception? I wasn't put up, Eivor. I felt compelled to carry on for the good of the Shire. Until I knew the truth. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. Mm. Yeah, I don't trust her. Finance to Hanwell. These woods, father. Oh, these woods. I remember the days we spent here together. <laughs> Eivor, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unbold. Come, s sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Contemplate the view. You're grieving, I understand. Be easy with your grief, Unbold. If you're not careful, it's a poison you'll bear in your blood for the rest of your life. No need to worry. For I have found the antidote for it. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness. But let your aching love light the mead of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. I would have liked him too, I think. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the m most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father. To your father, Lord Hunbeoth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. A wise old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. <laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. <laughs> uh. Where are you getting the beer from? Oh, my Swanborough loves that one. She has a great sense of humor, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right, your Dane lady love. She sounds well, lovely. That barrel back there. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should. Visit her. We should go to Brimsky, uh, uh, Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. Now come. And enjoy the splendor of my Shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You've never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords, like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendorful, why come to England at all? Ah. Uh. You can't grow crops on a blanket of jewels. Ah, 
Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so. Quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect them. I know many think me foolish, inexperienced. But I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course. But give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. What was that? Birds, Eivor. Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh. Quiet. Stop here. It's okay. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Eliminate the threat. Where did he go? Go, Zulin. Eliminate the threat. Now comes the reckoning! Eliminate the threat. I did. That's twice they've tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed. We had luck. But if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead. And they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. 
Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. I'm serious, Hunvald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. Hunvald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest oh. spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to you. You have to kill on top of that and give me a horse. Darling lady, you've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. Follow my voice, Jesse! Oh, thank the heavens! There she is! I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I'm fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. It's good to meet you as well. And you, Swanborough. I wasn't sure what to make of Hunwald's stories, yet here you are. Surprised to find a Dane by his side? Not quite. I'm surprised to find a Saxon at yours. Hunwald seems to endear himself to all sorts. Eivor agreed to help me find my father. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. <laughs> Died of a cruel disease, apparently. ...then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. <laughs> a shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here, out of sight, until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This Shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Listen to her. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I don't doubt it. I'm pleased you came. I Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're quite a wealthy man, then. You, you said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved Elderman, Hunbeon, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. It's a beautiful weapon. Are you trying to win my favor for something? Sh Does this belong to the Elderman? Shouldn't it go to Hunwald next? I suppose so. But I thought you a more fitting recipient. You'd know how to use it. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Oh, so, oh okay, I couldn't see it. Leave aside talk of politics and shire mouths. 
Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, eh, for A great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it. If only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this Shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the Shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god, uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Bunwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived, not long ago. The locals were terrified, not of being raided, but of their... Are we hunting, Elfgard? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. Wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. Well met, Grim. And Elfgar is it? Don't be frightened, Grim, but I believe Elfgar has arranged for us to meet. Oh, goodness, I've been discovered. But it's nothing untoward, I promise. I'm an honest man, and I believe that all people should live together in harmony. That's all. Hey, Leivor, did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. That's the point of all this. We're hunting, I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of... Survey, Lee. Where were we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. Search the cave for the bear. This is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubting that. Wolves. Wolves. See, that's why I hate them. They don't fight very fair.
to see here. Is that... That smoke! My god! My estate is burning like a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough, and I can't tell you how to handle this one. Please! My god, help me with this! I'm in this fight no. with you! A clash of puny Mercians don't frighten me! I must be careful now. Okay. I didn't like that. Get round the side. Bad move. to the afterlife. Men who would see you burn a dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Alfgar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shire Moot will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Away, beast! Away! You won't trouble me any longer! Elfgar! Careful! See? Didn't I promise you a rousing hunt? Brilliant! Simply brilliant! <coughs> Archer, is everything ready? The Shire Moot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, let's attend the Shire Moot. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shire Moot for myself. I'll follow. When will the boat begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones. But they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. 
How do you counsel my vote? <laughs> the new Eildor Ehrman's life will be in- Elfgard and Humboldt were attacked recently, and your bishop remains fearful. It's clear someone wants this stopped. They tried, yes, but they did not succeed. Praise be to God. I kept them safe, not your God. I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He's learning fast. Good man. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of... Good evening, Alfgard. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It's a difficult choice, Alfgard. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I don't doubt your convictions, Lord. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its former glory. Sweet Erasmus, it's Buyan Madeline. Sharon News Invitations, Press Circle Plus. This letter confirms that the real one in HV and PDOR HV do pass with dignity and grace, and also will not rest in the loving hands of our Heavenly Father. The Council requests your presence set before coming. Sharon News is real lucky. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Dringer. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Elfgard is a friend of yours, is he not? He is. And a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. <laughs> How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this shire. There's more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That's good to hear. Bishop, Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouch for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. Three men, three possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It's not for myself I must cast this stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Considering Adolf here. Cons Humboldt is not the most cunning or clever. 
But he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. I cast my vote for Hunwald. Yeah, considering Adolf. Though tinged with arrogance, Alfgar is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? I cast my vote for Adolf. Back, considering... Con the bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety. But he is wisest of the three, and has already proven himself. I cast my vote for the... Back to other... C considering... Cons Humbald is not the most cunning or clever. But he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. I cast my... Back to other candidate. I... Lead your shire with pride, ferocious swan. Right decision. <clears throat> it is decreed by this lawful Shire moot that the Elderman of Lincolnshire shall be son of our dear and departed Lord Hunfjord, Lord Hunwald of Lincolnshire. I don't know what to say. I thank you deeply, madly, humbly. What more can I say? I... I don't know. I miss my father. I'd sooner see him standing here than... Well, I will do my best. For each and every one of you. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. Don't drink it. I don't trust her. As all well know, this Shire Moot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith. A septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace! What is this? You guys do. Nobles of Lincolnshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! I knew it was him. I know you did not. I knew he was it. But I must admit, I did thought that woman was it too.
This one's gone. Find those who still draw breath. Polish your ass, Humboldt. The ultimate seat is yours. As your war council, I suggest you waste no time in catching this grief totter. You won't be far. We should first bury our dead, no? No. Go get them. That choice is yours to make, Elderman. Yes. Yes, of course. We'll bury our dead, then raise a feared. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. Solum modo in paradiso. Pax eterna est una via ad emundationem propriae vitae eius terenae terminales veluti.